Customization and safety are at the heart of Amita's commitment to mothers. The Amita Platinum Hospital Grade Breast Pump provides both innovative features and advanced technology. Its Amita Hygienikit Milk Collection System, known in Europe as the Hygiene Pump Set, is the world's only breast pump kit with proven airlock protection. Its protective barrier keeps the breast pump and tubing dry while pumping. Mold and bacteria can easily grow in pump tubing when moisture becomes trapped inside it. With proven airlock protection, the solid diaphragm keeps the air from your pump from coming in contact with your milk while pumping. Even if the milk container is turned on its side or upside down, moisture and milk aerosols will not enter the tubing or the pump. With this solid barrier, you don't have to dry or clean the narrow tubing. Amita's exclusive proven airlock protection helps prevent contamination and simplifies pump care. To use the Amita Platinum Breast Pump, first attach the power cord to the back of the pump. Then plug the pump into an electrical outlet. Before pumping, always wash your hands well with soap and water. Your Amita Hygiene Kit comes pre-assembled. If it's marked sterile, you may use it right out of the package. If your Hygiene Kit is not sterile, before using it for the first time, boil those parts of the system that come in contact with your milk for 20 minutes to sanitize them. This includes all parts of the collection kit except adapter cap, tubing, and tubing adapter. After boiling, let these parts air dry. To assemble the Hygiene Kit, first insert the diaphragm into the upper chamber of the breast flange. Then, snap the adapter cap, with the tubing attached, onto the top of the upper chamber. Next. Hold the white valve carefully by the thick sides, not the flat edge. The valve will compress slightly. Gently push the white valve firmly onto the ring on the underside of the breast flange. The white valve is vital for proper suction and should always be handled very gently. Next, screw the collection bottle into place. And finally, Push the tubing adapter, with tubing attached, into the tubing adapter port on the pump. The tubes from both collection kits should be plugged into the tubing adapter. If you are going to single pump, simply remove one tube and close it with the tab on the tubing adapter. When you hold the flanges to your breasts, make sure your nipples are centered in the nipple tunnel. Hold them firmly but gently to create an airtight seal around your breasts. Start your Amita Platinum Breast Pump by pressing the power button. The pump starts at the lowest suction setting. Push the up arrow of the suction button until it feels slightly uncomfortable, and then turn it down a little until you reach your highest comfortable level. Pressing and holding the button will increase suction by units of 10. Pressing and releasing the button will increase suction by units of 1. Use the highest suction setting that feels completely comfortable to you. If you feel discomfort during or after pumping, use a lower suction setting. The Amita Platinum is the only breast pump with VacuSense technology that internally monitors the pump suction so it matches the level you choose. With VacuSense technology, your pump suction continues to stay at your chosen setting when you pump at different altitudes, even during single and dual pumping. Like a breastfeeding baby, the Amita Platinum Breast Pump starts at its fastest speed. When your milk begins to flow, this is known as a letdown, or milk release. This natural reflex pushes the milk out of the breast and is the most important part of successful pumping. During each breastfeeding, most mothers have three or four milk releases, even if they don't feel them. 
When your milk flows faster, you can use your pump controls to follow your flow. To do this, use the down arrow of the speed button to find the setting that produces the fastest milk flow. Pressing and holding the button will decrease speed by units of 10. Pressing and releasing the button will decrease speed by units of 1. Your best speed setting may vary at different pumping sessions. When your milk release ends and your milk flow slows, try pressing the up arrow on the speed button. A faster speed may trigger the next milk release faster. Many mothers pump more milk in less time by using a faster speed to trigger milk flow and a slower speed to drain it. Repeating these fast then slow speed settings several times is what we call multi-phase pumping, which mimics a baby's nursing pattern at the breast. But these suggestions are just a starting point. Always use the pump settings that work best for you. Amita's custom control was designed with you in mind. To trigger a milk release, it may also help to gently massage your breasts or apply a warm compress. Flange fit is important for comfort and milk flow. What determines breast flange size and your fit is the width of the flange opening. With a good flange fit, you should see space around your nipple as it moves freely in the tunnel during pumping. If the breast flange is too small, your nipple may rub along the tunnel's sides or move very little. If the flange is too large, too much of the breast may be drawn in, and it may be hard to get a good air seal. For a better fit, Amita's Custom Fit Flange System offers seven different breast flange sizes, which adapt to all Amita breast pumps and kits. If your pump or kit includes more than one flange size, try each one to see which is most comfortable and produces the best milk flow. Flange fit can change over time, so check your flange fit every few weeks. If you have small nipples and the flanges included with your pump kit are too large, a reducing insert or flexi shield may improve your comfort and milk flow. If the breast flanges included are too small, larger sizes are available. These larger sizes, called custom fit flanges, can be purchased separately. As you pump, Tilt the collection kit down slightly so your milk flows into the bottle. Close your eyes, relax, and imagine your baby nursing at your breast. Dual pumping takes much less time than single pumping. When dual pumping, allow 10 to 15 minutes per session unless your healthcare provider recommends another pumping time. If you single pump, switch breasts about every five to seven minutes and allow about 20 to 30 minutes total per session. To make it easier to pump for the recommended time, the Amita Platinum Breast Pump features a timer that starts when the pump is turned on. It can be reset by pressing the button under the timer. The timer and pump automatically turn off after 60 minutes. When you finish pumping, turn off the pump by pressing the power button. Then remove the flanges from your breasts. If necessary, break the suction by inserting a finger between the flange and your breast. When the suction is broken, remove the flange. The pump's built-in bottle holders can securely support any size milk container or storage bag. Finally, Unscrew the bottles and screw the locking caps into place. Follow the milk storage guidelines you're given.